This is a series of exercises to uh, benefit the lower back, to help with stiffness and pain. It's really important if you do have a real discomfort or a real back problem to start the movements slowly, softly, gently, and don't do them for too long. And then if you find that after doing them, your back feels um, comfortable, uh, also the next day, then you can build up slowly, increase um, the length of time you do them, maybe do them a bit more, um, a little bit more strongly. Okay, so I'm going to start by turning my back to the camera. And I'm going to make loose fists. A loose fist is one you can see a little bit of light through. We don't want to tense up the fists, same as we don't want to tense up any other part of the body. And then we rest the backs of the hands on the soft tissue of the back, just below the ribs here. There's a very natural, comfortable place for it to fall into. Hands are either side of the spine. And we simply start by coming, becoming aware of the reassuring and comfortable sensation of the connection between the hands and the back. It helps us relax the back, release tension in the back, and also um, we could use the word nourish, it helps nourish the lower back. Then let's uh, practice breathing into the lower back. That sounds strange, but it's easier to do than you would think. So we're going to imagine that we are, uh, well, we are breathing through the nose, but we're going to imagine that we're breathing in through the navel, the tummy button. And the breath's going to travel through the core into the lower back, and it's going to fill the lower back beneath the two hands, almost as though there are two balloons there. So, as we breathe in, the lower back fills. You might find it's easier if we slightly pull the hands apart. We breathe out, and the lower back empties of breath. Softly breathing in, filling through the lower back. Breathing out and releasing. And we have the feeling that the breath we take into the lower back is a special kind of precious breath that feeds and relaxes all the muscles and bones and soft tissue of the lower back. So you can do this breathing as often as you like, and for as long as you like, as long as it feels beneficial. And then we change from here into a movement. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the backs of the hands down, pulling the soft tissue of the lower back and the bones down, 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 long towards the earth. So we're really rooted down. And we've lengthened through the lumbar vertebra here. We've lengthened the space between the sacrum, the triangular bone, and the spine and we've taken everything down, down, down. Okay. And as we breathe in, with moderate pressure, we pull it up, and when the backs of the hands reach the lower ribs, we widen, spread the lower back, and open the hands. Close back into fists, and we take it down again. And we do it with breathing, like this, breathing in, and out. 
If my breathing is too slow for you, then you must go at your own pace. You must never force the breath, but we encourage it to deepen and to slow down. Breathing out and out. Breathing in and in and out and out. So just a couple of points to pay attention to. Um, we don't want to lift the chest, so it may be tempting as we come up here to allow the chest to rise and go forward, just keep the chest relaxed and dropped. And the second thing is we want to keep the elbows relaxed. Breathing out. Breathing in. And this is a, a lovely exercise that you can repeat for quite a long time, as often as you like. Okay, so it's got a second part to it. So we breathe out and we allow the arms to come forward until they're in front of the thighs. And we're going to take the arms up to about there, but we're going to do it in a very special way. So um, let's unfold the fists for the moment. And we're going to start by having the feeling of lengthening through the thighs and the groins and the hips like that. Closing, lengthening, closing. And th that lengthening will raise the arms up to about here. And we release back. Breathing in, lengthening through the thighs, groins, and hips. It may be hard to feel this lengthening at the start because the soft tissue may be quite stiff. It's very common nowadays because we spend so much time sitting that we've lost elasticity in the soft tissue. So at first, sometimes we just have to imagine we can lengthen through that area, and then slowly with practice, we increase the elasticity of that. Okay. Now, lengthening through the thighs, groins, and hips to there. Now we're going to lengthen through the middle, and particularly we're going to focus on lengthening through the lower back. And that will take the arms up to there. See if you can feel more space created in the muscles of the lower back. Breathe out, close the lower back down again, close the hips, groins, and thighs. So like, it's a single smooth movement up to here. Lengthening through the lower back here, releasing the lower back down. Breathing in. And out. And for the final part of the movement, we lengthen through the thighs, groins, and hips. We lengthen through the lower back. And then we open the ribs. And the hands come up to there. So uh, we want to keep the shoulders dropped. We want to keep the sacrum dropped, and we really want to lengthen through the trunk and particularly through the lower back. Okay, close the ribs, let the lower back settle into itself, close the hips, groins, and thighs. So the whole movement three times, breathing in. And out. And in. And out. And in. And 
and out. And now we combine it with part one. We'll do the whole thing three times. So fists to the back, breathe in. Breathe out. Fists roll forward. Slowly uncurl the hands. Breathing out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Staying soft, elastic, no strain, no tension. Breathe out. One more time. And then just settle back into the standing position and take a few moments to relax. <laughs> 